Hey everybody, Case here, back here with more Goosebumps Horror Town. Looks like a brand new update has hit, if you don't see this, Cynthia's pack, 70% off, head over to respective app store, download it, and then this should appear. So I don't really know what has popped up, I didn't look to see what was going to be in it. Going in blind sometimes is kind of fun. So you can see in the, the far right there, 7 days remaining for this. You get Cynthia with Cynthia's hideouts. A gem mine? That is actually really cool as well. And then some goosebump bucks and then some coinage as well. The gem mine, I'm hoping it's going to be separate as well. That could really, really come in handy. But what do we got here? We got stuff on the side. We have a lot of quests. We have... A lot of quests! We have so many! Well... Let's jump into this! The search for 8-year-old Cynthia Jones continues. The girl who reportedly hasn't been seen for 6 days. Authorities affirm that all available resources are being used to find her. However, the debate around the official priorities for those responsible for the case has been unleashed. Opinions are mixed at best, and it is my duty to communicate to listeners what is happening on the streets. Citizens expect their government to take action on this issue. Mrs. Johnson, your city needs you. Emily, we have to find Cynthia. Her safety depends on us. Come on! Toy Terror! Expedition Folder, Monster Database, Investigation Files, and it's 1 of 10. This is going to be a really, really long quest line. Anytime you see this particular character here, this is generally like a main quest line sort of deal. Expand to the Goldsmith Zone. You know what? I haven't actually looked around and done anything yet. You know, let's just clear all this stuff. It's bugging the heck out of me. Wow, I just realized I'm really, really close to the inventory. I'm at 993 of a thousand. Is it just me or are the coins smaller? Like in the little bubbles. Or maybe I can zoom out more. I don't know. But anyway, let's check to see. So these pieces are land with here already. Wait, what? Wait, did they change? They changed something. Hope ring. You need to craft this at the goldsmith. And this is a confidence ring. Also at the goldsmith. The amount of money I still is, I think, sorry, is the same. It is. So they got rid of the gems here. I think. So is there anything else? There is something else. Oh my goodness, calm down. There's suddenly all the space in the world. Let's head over here. This requires a passion ring. This is probably the goldsmith thingy. Authority ring. But there's also stuff over here, which is really interesting. The goldsmith, here we go. So it requires... Well, actually, I have everything. Three of the treasure maps, two of the compasses. I think that's one of the little trophy thing, and then 25,000 of that. So let's investigate. And then this costs the power pendant. So really, everything is going to revolve around a goldsmith area. So does that mean they got rid of the gems? One way to figure that out. No, the gems still remain. So I don't know maybe if the gems are maybe for some of the lower levels? Or what? Or, possibly, they're going to probably require some of the rings. So for example, this requires the authority ring. You probably need a black gem. Patch ring requires red. Confidence ring, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's like gray. And then we've got green as well. So maybe that's where the gems come into play a little bit. 
They've kind of mixed it up a little bit, which actually, you know what? I'm on board with that. Play Selma's Motorhome. Some tales of monsters are mere flights of fancy. Others seem outlandish yet hold a grain of truth. Have you ever heard of the Shaggy Eric? I came across something in the library about it. Are you still using the library for research, Lucy? That's so old fashioned. If you want to find out about the Shaggy, you need to harness the awesome power of 8 bit computing. Hmm. Obtain some monster databases, Cyborg Hacker. So these are both items already that you can craft. That's the alien farmer from the previous update. Some things are better left alone, but few young men can resist the challenge of a double dare. Hey Eric, have you ever been down to the old abandoned water park by the river? No, I mean, I have a lot of other things to keep me busy. Like organizing my masked mutant comic collection. Chemical X. Oozy Stuff Volcanoes. And I believe I have a lot of these characters already, so it's possibly just allowing me to actually do quest lines with them now. This is the the knight, the black knight? I can't remember who it is. Many humans falsely believe that knights were good and heroic. But the truth is often different, as Dustin learns when he has a bad night at the museum. Ha <laughs> ha. Dustin, did you see the History Museum is opening? I bet there are fascinating items we could check out. If it happened before the invention of video games, it can't be very interesting, can it? Well, I think it can be. Evidence record, obtain a spy glass binoculars. The knight in screaming armor. So yeah, this is just probably the quest lines for a lot of the premium characters that now actually have stuff. I'm trying to scroll, please, and it's making me tap. Thank you. Hey, check out this metal beetle thing I found. You like that sort of stuff, right? How interesting. It looks like an Egyptian scarab, an ancient symbol. Where'd you find it? It was stuck in the dirt over there when we were riding bikes. It's just trash, but I thought you might want to see it. It's not trash. It looks like a genuine ancient piece. Show me where you found it. It's probably not a good idea, man. But I think I'm gonna have to do it, man. The abominable snowman, dude. Funny thing about Horror Town. Even a discussion about the weather can turn in sinister. Brr, it's freezing today. I feel like my hands are gonna to turn to ice. It is unseasonably cold, to say the least. There was nothing in the weather report about a change, either. Do you think, you know, monsters could be involved? Yeah, that's probably true. The Abominable Slimmen of Pasadena, if I remember that goosebump book. I'm so excited! I get to visit the new Court Palace building as the official photographer. That's the building they brought over from England, right? Yes, and my dear, I mean, my boss Ricky, at the school paper, gave me the assignment to cover it. As long as there are no scary armor suits there, I guess I can go with you. Is that like the Clock Tower of Doom or something like that? Uh, let's see, what else we got? Oh my goodness. It takes a goldsmith many years of experience to acquire true mastery of their art. Even then, only a few have the skill to imbue genuine pieces of art with extraordinary powers. Here's your money, Mrs. Smith. As always, it is a pleasure doing business with you. I couldn't help but noticing the beautiful golden ring you're shining. Have you ever considered selling it? Oh, I'd never sell this thing, darling. It was made by my father a long time ago, even before I was born. This piece was his most important work, and has tremendous meaning for me. I could never part with it. Obtain the Spirit Ring, Hope Ring, Confidence Ring. Now obviously, if you've been watching this video, you saw what I was doing earlier. So the Goldsmith is still going to take 12 hours to obtain, to uncover, and then eventually we can obviously craft these things. And finally, we got one more. It would be cool if a super cool guy like me had a super cool dog. Know what I mean? For sure, Marty. I bet we could find one for you. Let's put some food out and see if a big bad stray dog wants to become my dog. 
Marty, do you have any clue what taking care of a dog properly requires? Well, I mean, if they want this dog, that's cool. Ghost dog! So, uh, yeah, obviously those were just the quest lines they finally implemented to some of the premium characters. But in general, you're just doing normally the main quest line here. And then you're clearing this here. And I think that's really it. The final thing we gotta look at, if there is anything, premium. So for the monsters tab, what do we have here? Theo Gordon is still available. There's Jack, and that is it. For the heroes, anything? Cynthia, and then we've got Selma. It's available for 40,000. So we got a brand new hero, which is great. The final one is the neighbors. Any neighbors? No neighbors. Question is though, are both of these characters, or is one of them a scene? I'm just not sure if I have no clue. So there's a lot to keep us busy in this particular update. I still only have a couple hundred goosebump bucks. I don't know if I should go for Theo Gordon or who's the other one? Jack the Alien Farmer or Cynthia. I, I don't know. I mean, I think the coolest one is obviously the Jack Pumpkin dude. So maybe I'll go for that, but for sure, there will be a video for Selma in the very near future. And then I'll continue to do all the stuff, and we'll see what happens with the rings and everything as well in that nature. I think what I'm probably going to do is once this is done being cleared here, I'll then make a video for Selma, and then I'll dive in deeper with the whole thing with the rings and everything once we can actually look at the goldsmith. So keep it locked down the road for Selma, any premium characters that I buy, and of course any other updates that come out in Goosebumps Horror Town. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.